Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you part two of my lip declutter. I shared part one a couple videos ago. I actually filmed it all at the same time, but then it was just like way too much footage. So I decided to break it apart into the different containers that I have for lip products. So this will be the last part of my lip declutter. I decluttered so many products and I was really excited about it because now I can organize all of my lip products too and I'm going to be sharing that with you guys in this video how I reorganize everything now to actually make sense of my collection. So you guys want to see part two of my lip declutter and how I'm currently storing all of my lip products then just keep on watching. Alright so I'm going to start off with everything in this little owl mug. I got this I think at TJ Maxx. Home Goods, $3.99. So this is a really cute mug. I want to start keeping actually like my most used lip products in here and not just like random things. I will probably actually get rid of most of the things in here. Um, so definitely I don't want to keep this Wet n Wild lip gloss. It's kind of newer in my collection, but it's just like a color I'm not really gonna wear. I don't really wear like super colorful lip glosses. I'm gonna keep Urban Decay. Love this formula. The shade Back Talk is one of my favorite. This is one of the e.l.f. plumping glosses. I definitely want to keep that one of my favorite formulas as well. Um, Milani, I feel like this is super old. I've had this probably three years, so I'm going to toss that. These from Smashbox, I'm gonna get rid of. They're, um, metallic liquid lipsticks that aren't completely matte and I know that I actually have this one which is my favorite of the three I have it um, a second one of it basically so I'm gonna end up getting rid of these this is super old yeah you can see where it's like breaking up this is trap from Colourpop I've had this for a few years this one I just got in my Ipsy like last week, so I'm going to hang on to that for now. The other two from Wet n Wild. I wear this orange shade a little bit more. These are all from the Flight of Fancy collection that came out in the spring. So I'm going to keep this shade Featherless, the more orangey shade. And I'm going to get rid of Fly Gal, which is more of that pink shade. Then I have four more. Okay, this Anastasia Catnip. I was so into purpley lip colors. You guys will see a theme when I start decluttering more and more of colors of this shade. Um, definitely, I'm not going to wear this ever again. And I don't really like her formula anymore compared to like a lot of other products in my collection. That one's older too, so I don't feel so bad about it. This Committed from The Bomb. Let me go ahead and keep this. I want to say that I might have a duplicate of this. So let me hang on to this for now. Buxom Gloss. I totally didn't even realize this was in here. But this is the Buxom Gloss in the shade Samantha. Really love their glosses. I haven't worn this very much. I just forgot I had it. So I'm going to hang on to that. This is the Matte Lip Paint in Bashful from Galactic. Let me see what the shade looks like. Yeah. That's a shade I will definitely continue to wear, like more of like a peachy nude. I didn't realize that was in there either. So basically half of what was in there I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of these and keep these. Next up we have this storage container that actually used to hold pretty much all of my lip products. Obviously that's not the case anymore, but I definitely want to start storing um, more of my like everyday products in here. Like I said, I'm going to keep all of the Avon lipsticks for now at least since they are new and I like to pass those along to people. Um, and then in here, this has like a lot of my minis and some of these are just like really old lipsticks. So let's go through this. I feel like a lot of the Kylie lipsticks, I haven't touched these in forever. So I really just want to keep like Kristen and maybe one more and the rest I'll toss because some of them are almost all the way used up. So Kristen, I have two of them, and this is a gorgeous, like, reddish tone. It's my favorite color from Kylie, and obviously I just have the little minis. But this from Kylie Cosmetics, that's, like, one of my favorite shades in the fall. And then, I don't know, I think I should just get rid of the majority of these. Keep, like, one nude, maybe. So, like, this is the shade Dulce K. It's the one on top. I used to love this. I'm actually almost out of it, but... I don't really wear like brown lip colors anymore, so I'm going to get rid of that. I might keep this shade Ginger. I used to be super into this. Yeah, I think I still like that. Kind of like that burnt orange shade, so I'm going to hang on to that. Maybe one more nude. I don't know. I think I'm good because the other two nudes are a little like 
more of that pinky tone, Coco K and Candy K. So I think I'm just gonna toss the rest. I've had them for a couple years and most of them like are a little bit more dried out anyways. I think a lot of what's in here I wanna get rid of. Like it's really old in my collection. A lot of these minis I've had in here forever. Um, the Too Faced Melted minis. I've had these since like maybe 2013. Chihuahua, no, Chocolate Honey. I wanna, if I find Chihuahua somewhere in my collection, I'm gonna keep that because I know that used to be a favorite of mine. But these I've had for so long. Bunch of these minis. Um, this lipstick I don't wear. A lot of these lipsticks I don't wear. These are from Urban Decay, the Naked Heat collection last year. They're all metallic shades I'm never ever gonna wear. Yeah, they're like metallic copper brown colors. So maybe Fuel I might keep, which is more of a nude shade. Let's see. Actually, that's really pretty. I'm gonna keep Fuel. It's more of like a peachy nude. And I wasn't wearing this at the time. Um, but lately I'm into more of that like peachy nude shade and less of that pink tone nude. And I used to be super into this shade, this like plummy shade. This is from Makeup Forever. It's the shade C211. I don't wear colors like this anymore. I've had this for a couple years. I'm going to toss this one. And then this one is a really, really similar shade from Revlon. It's the shade... Very hot. This one is sentimental, so I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to wear it, but I'm going to keep it. Um, I got this maybe four, five years ago, I think. Yeah, at, at the latest in 2014. It's a dupe to one of these from MAC Up The Amp. And I ended up buying this one because I really, really wanted it. But this color was supposed to be like a dupe. And that's why I ended up getting it. And this color, this lipstick, I bought, um, yeah, like five years ago. And I keep it in my collection because this is a lipstick that I would wear. I would keep this in my car when I used to teach high school. And I couldn't wear lip colors or like really very much makeup. So I would put this on in my lunch break and just sit in my car and eat lunch and wear this lipstick for 20 minutes and then wipe it off and go back into the building so I could feel like myself for like 20 minutes a day and that would be like my little form of rebellion even though nobody would ever see me wearing this lip color. So I like to keep it because it makes me feel like empowered or something. So I like it because it's like a little bit of a memory. And then this is the one from MAC Up The Amp, which is why I ended up buying the Revlon one because I couldn't afford a MAC lipstick yet. Um, but I'm actually gonna get rid of the, actually no, do I wanna keep? Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the MAC one because I'm never ever gonna wear it. It's just gonna like rot in my collection. And then I'm wondering if I wanna keep MAC Cream Cup in my collection for sentimental reasons. Um, this color does not look good on me at all. Like it's so frosty, pink. Oh. Uh, but this was my first MAC lipstick, but the color does not work for me at all. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this. But actually, no, let me hang on to this for now because now I'm getting sad about it. But this was my first ever MAC lipstick, my first ever high-end lipstick. I bought it um, to wear at my brother's wedding a couple years ago too. So I'm gonna keep that here. So those are my two little memories, but I think that's gonna be it for like things that I'm super emotionally attached to. Um, so let's get rid of some other things. This is from Pixie. I don't think I'm gonna wear this. So <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of that one. These are the Dosa Color Collab um, with Katie and Desi from last year. I know there was one shade I liked more than the other. I don't think I like this color. Let's see if I like this one. Yes, I will wear this one more, the shade No Shade. But this shade No Creamer, please, is like way too brown on me so i'm definitely not gonna wear that all right so this drawer is almost all the way cleared out i need to find a home for this perfume but got rid of a lot in here and i think i'm gonna do the same with everything in here this from pixie i'm never ever gonna wear i think it's kind of just like a weird product um this is a lipstick from number seven i actually really like it in the shade honey bloom I totally always forget about it, but I really like the color and I really like the formula. It's like a very neutrally mauve kind of shade. The formula is super comfortable and I like the cream finish of it. And I bought this KKW collection last year and I never, ever, ever wear it. I think I'm just going to keep one or two because they're pricier. Um, I'm thinking this shade Kimberly that looks more of like a nudie shade. The others are a little bit more orangey. Yeah, I think this is... 
the color I would keep. Or maybe this one, the shade Kim. No, that is like way too pinky on me. So I think I'm just gonna keep it Kimberly and get rid of the rest. I never wear those. And then this from Catrice, I never wear either. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Also this one from number seven, I always see it in my collection. It's just like super glittery. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then also I love this Kiko Milani. Um, lip gloss. I really, really like this formula, so I'm going to hang on to that. Love the Gen Nude glosses from Bare Minerals. One of my favorite formulas of all time. These are all the colors from Kevin Kwan. I don't wear all of them. I wear Pink Crystal, this one, and then I think maybe one more, but they're so pricey. I don't want to get rid of any of the other colors right now, like the purple ones and the orange one. I might not wear as often, but... They're just pricey, so I don't want to get rid of them. I do think I'm going to get rid of this gloss from Buxom. I don't know. Let me actually hang on to this, honestly. <laughs> um, it actually looks a little bit too new in my collection. Just like one of those things that I forget about. And like the swatch is actually pretty like a color I'm definitely going to wear. But let's go ahead and get rid of Over the Top from Dose of Colors because I'm definitely not attached to this one. I don't think I've even put this on this year, so I'm going to toss this. I wish I didn't buy that whole collection at the time. I do a lot better job of that now. Like, I just buy what I want from collections, and that was one where I bought the whole collection, and I've ended up decluttering, like, half of it. All right, so fast forward a couple days now since you guys saw the last parts of my video of me decluttering this drawer and also this cup. Um, so it's been a few days, and I reorganized everything, and I wanted to give you guys a follow up on how I'm storing my lip products now because I'm so much happier and I like everything in my collection which is awesome um, because before there was just like so much clutter and just like almost all used up products and just really really old lip products so in this container on the bottom I still just have those Avon lipsticks that I'm just keeping there until basically I see my mom or like an aunt or something that wants to um, take those because I just have so many extra and then here are literally this is my entire or this second drawer this is my entire lipstick collection right now um which i think is a good size i just put in these two nude sticks lip products that i had floating around just so everything in here was like even and organized otherwise things were like moving around too much but i have just some of my charlotte tilbury lipsticks color pop lipsticks Too Faced, some CoverGirl lipsticks, a couple MAC lips, or one MAC lipstick, and some Urban Decay, and just some, a couple other random lipsticks that you guys saw before. So literally, that's all of my lipsticks, and I'm, I'm just really happy with it because I like pretty much all of these. I have like two or three that are just sentimental, but everything else like are lipsticks I wear or would pull from like any given day. And then here, I actually put all of my lip toppers. So... Glosses that had a shimmer to them. So I have all of these molten lip toppers from Kevin Kwan. They have six shades. I have swatches on my Instagram story highlights under beauty. If you guys want to see swatches of all six shades. The Buxom gloss that I kept. All of my new pop. Um, Beauty by Pop Sugar glosses that are like fairly opaque. These e.l.f. prismatic glosses that I love and then my favorite champagne glam from e.l.f. And then I might move where I store this because right now it's kind of like on the other side of my room from the rest of my makeup. And now that I have products that I reach for regularly, I might actually put this um, on my vanity where you guys would see it in my videos. And then I also plan on doing a like what's on my vanity video in the next couple weeks. So let me know if you guys want to see that too. And then moving into all of the products in this mug, I basically wanted to have like all of my favorite products or like most used products in here because it's right next to me when I'm doing my makeup or filming. If I want to switch out my lip color for filming, um, if I'm filming like multiple videos or something, it, everything's just right there. I can just grab it and throw it into my purse. So. I basically just picked out like all of my current favorites, which I thought you guys would like to see as well. Some of these you just saw in my recent video, like I have my Persona Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, and I've been wearing both of these like nonstop, especially OG has been like my go-to nude. Bite Beauty Flat White Lip Gloss, obsessed with this. It's just like a very hydrating gloss. Um, also this Lancome gloss, this one is kind of a lip topper, but the... Pigment in here is so fine. 
It's like a peachy shade to love this color. It's just like a very slight sheen and it's a gorgeous lip topper. It's also pretty opaque, so I wear it on its own too. Makeup Forever 103, my holy grail lip color of all time. I'll just go ahead and swatch it in case you guys haven't seen it before. It's just like a very like normal nude color. It doesn't look like anything special, but on me, like this is the color that I think looks best and the formula is amazing. Yes, by Bare Minerals, like the wording on this has faded because this is like one of the top products I've tried this year. Like the formula, the pigmentation, the shine, how opaque the color is, absolutely amazing. And then I have two more of those products, Squad and Bay. Um, Bay is, I think this is the peachy one. Yes. And then Squad is a little bit more pink. If you guys haven't tried out those Gen Nude lip like they're like lip lacquer kind of products this one's like slightly more pink they all look really similar so i just rotate between those one of my favorites from physicians formula i'm just gonna go ahead and swatch everything <laughs> um the healthy lip and tulip treatment love this as a coral shade it's gorgeous and i told you guys already that i love this formula i've been wearing this hi-fi shine gloss lately from urban decay i was wearing this in my Favorites video, my last video. It's a really light peachy gloss. It's also very plumping and kind of opaque too. Um, so it reminds me of the Buxom glosses, but with more pigmentation for sure. This one that you guys just saw in my Sephora haul in Taupe It Off, <laughs> the Baba Plump um, liquid lipstick from Buxom. It's more cool tone. That's like a really pretty fall shade. I'm really liking this formula, so I'm probably gonna end up getting like one or two more of these. Sugar Sugar by Marc Jacobs, which is basically like the same color as all of these other glosses, but I do love it. It's like a pale pink shade. Champagne Mommy from Colourpop. Ultra glossy lip. Really don't like this brush one, but still like really, really pretty color. This is the Lip Topper in Diamonds from Galactic. This is a really pretty shade, really pretty lip topper. It reminds me of Jouer Skinny Dip. And then let me go back and swatch Flat White from Bite Beauty. You guys can see like all of these, almost all of these look like pretty much the same. <laughs> I definitely have like a certain undertone I love with my nude colors, but this is Flat White from Bite Beauty. Really hydrating shade and then i also just wanted to swatch the two shades from persona cosmetics og is the nude shade and then um holy grail is the red shade both of them are awesome and i've been wearing both of them a lot like this summer all right so those are all of the lip colors that are going to end up behind me on my vanity all of my go-to nudes and glosses and lip toppers um basically like my most used products right now and lip colors and then i wanted to show you guys all of the containers that i showed you in my last declutter and i will link that video below if you guys want check out like all the products that I decluttered because um like all of this was super overflowing <laughs> so I reorganized these four containers from that video and just separated everything into categories hopefully I could keep it that way um some of them are still like a little cluttered but it makes sense to me to have it this way um so in here I have my lip pencils and a couple of my satin lip products, like I have one of the Gen Nudes from Bare Minerals, ColourPop Satin Lip, and then also a Grande Cosmetics Grande Lip Liquid Lipstick because that has a satin finish. And I figured when I wear like satin lip products, I'll usually use a lip liner with them. And I also had like the fewest of these products. And then in here I have all of my glosses. And this is basically all of my lip glosses other than all of my lip toppers back there, but I just wanted to separate them out. And then in this container, I have all of my colorful lip products. And now I do have a lot more colorful shades because I have my Smashbox Cosmetics lip products and my Jouer Cosmetics lip products in separate drawers. I'll go ahead and show you guys them at the end of this video because that is like so many more lip products, but I didn't declutter any of those because I like having the full collection. And you guys will see like I have a lot of colorful shades, but from other brands, these are like all of the colorful shades that I have, basically like reds and like purpley pinks. And then in here are all of my nude liquid lipsticks. All of them are basically like kind of like the same shade of nude, but 
I like all the formulas. I like everything that's left and that way like everything actually gets used. So the products I just showed you are in this third Alex drawer that I have here and that's just how they're organized and stored. It's a lot more organized, a lot less messy than it was before for sure. And it's just like a lot easier to access everything in here. And then right above that, I have two more drawers of lip products that I like keeping the full collection of these because it's like one brand each and it's like my favorite formulas. So this is my Smashbox Cosmetics drawer. They did send like all of the lip colors at one point of like all of their lip lines. So I've hanged on to all of them because I really like the formula and whenever I'm doing something like bold or colorful, I have a lot of options to choose from. And then here are all of my Jue products. That is a lot, yeah. So they have sent over like full collections of their lip products, which is why I have all of them. I would otherwise just buy like six of them and not like, you know, like all of this, it's crazy. Um, but love this formula, believe it or not, a lot of these products get used regularly. I should go ahead and just declutter these old ones from a holiday collection from a couple of years ago because they sent over like the holiday collection last year of minis. Um, love their lip liners. It's like one of my favorite, like both of these are the ones I use on like a daily basis if I want a lip liner. They just released a couple of new products with their rose gold collection. And I do have a whole lip swatch video on my, I have several like Jue lip swatch videos on my page. If you just like type in Jue and you'll see like a bunch of different lip swatch videos. If you guys want reviews of all of these formulas, but basically their glosses and their lip creams are like my holy grail products. And also like the Smashbox liquid lipsticks. If you want something long wearing, and comfortable. But that's gonna be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the rest of my lip declutter, lip storage a little bit more, but look into my makeup collection. I'm definitely gonna be doing a what's on my vanity video really soon and just a couple more makeup collection videos and declutters. Palette declutters for sure will be coming up in the next month. I'm ready to do another donation to Project Beauty Share really soon. Um, yeah, but that's gonna be all for today. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And and I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.